Good day, dear learners. I am Teacher Teens. And welcome to the world of mathematics. The lesson that we are going to tackle today is solving multi-step routine and non-routine problems involving multiplication and addition or subtraction using appropriate problem-solving strategies and tools. The most essential competency that we need to meet solves multi-step routine and non-routine problems involving multiplication and addition or subtraction using appropriate problem-solving strategies and tools. Dear learners, do you still remember how to solve one-step routine problems? In solving one-step routine problems, follow the four-step plan. Understand, plan, solve, check, and look back. Always remember that one-step problem can be solved using only one operation. While multi-step problems can be solved using two or more operations. Dear learners, let us try to solve problems. Are you ready? The first problem that we are going to solve will be named Problem A. Mount Gibson harvested 10,200 ears of corn from each of the 18 plots of his farm while Mang Leo harvested 12,250 ears of corn from each of the 12 plots of his farm. How many ears of corn did they harvest in all? We are going to solve problem A following the four-step plan. Understand, plan, solve, check, and look back. Understand, read and understand the problem. Let us read the problem. Mang Gibson harvested 10,200 ears of corn from each of the 18 plots of his farm, while Mang Leo harvested 12,250 ears of corn from each of the 12 plots of his farm. How many ears of corn did they harvest in all? Number 2. Know what is asked. Total number of ears of corn they harvested in all. 3. Know the hidden information. The number of ears of corn Mang Gibson harvested. The number of ears of corn Mang Leo harvested. Number 4. Find the necessary information. The given facts are 10,200 ears of corn from each of the 18 plots, 12,250 ears of corn from each of the 12 plots. Plan. Determine the operations to be used. So the operations that we are going to use are multiplication and addition. Number two, write the number sentences for the hidden questions. 18 times 10,200 equals N. 12 
times 12,250 equals N. Write the number sentence for the final answer. 18 times 10,200 plus 12 times 12,250 equals N. After we wrote the number sentences, we can now solve to get the answer. For the first number sentence for the hidden questions, we have 18 times 10,200. The answer is 183,600. The second number sentence for the hidden questions we have 12 times 12,250. The answer is 147,000. And lastly, we will add the products of the two. 183,600 plus 147,000 equals 330,600. Check and look back. See if your answer makes sense. State the complete answer. The total number of ears of corn is 330,600. The next problem that we are going to solve will be named Problem B. A farmer has some ducks and goats in his farm. A visitor counted 14 heads and 40 legs for these animals. How many ducks and goats are there in the farm? What is as in the problem? Correct! Number of ducks and goats in the farm. What are the given facts? Very good! 14 heads and 40 legs. Do you know what, dear learners? Problem B can be solved using different strategies. It's very exciting, right? Are you ready to solve it? Let us do it now! The first possible solution strategy is drawing a diagram. Since 40 heads is stated in the problem, we are going to draw 14 circles as heads. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So, we have 14 circles. Then, we will draw two feet in each circle using lines. How many feet do we have now? Yes, we only have a total of 28 feet. But in the problem, the stated number of feet is 40. So it means we did not yet complete 40 feet. For that, we will add more feet. We will subtract 28 from 40. The difference is 12. Then, divide it by 2. The quotient is 6. It means to say, we will add more feet to the six circles. Let's add more feet now to the six circles. Since each duck has two feet and each goat has four feet, therefore, 
there are eight ducks and six goats in the farm. We can also use the trial and error strategy. In this strategy, we will guess possible answers. And these are the possible answers. Five ducks and nine goats have 46 feet. Seven ducks and seven goats have 42 feet. Eight ducks and six goats have 40 feet. Therefore, there are eight ducks and six goats in the farm. The third solution strategy that we can use is systematic listing. We will give the possible number of ducks and goats. The first in the list is 5 ducks and 9 goats. They have a total of 46 feet. The second in the list is 7 ducks and 7 goats with a total of 42 feet. And the third in the list is 8 ducks and 6 goats with a total of 40 feet. Therefore, there are 8 ducks and 6 goats in the farm. The solution strategies that we use to answer the question in problem B are drawing a diagram, trial and error, and systematic listing. There are still more solution strategies that can be used to get the answer. As long as you got the correct answer, even if you use different strategy, your answer is still correct. Let us compare now problem A to problem B. Which is a multi-step problem. Correct! The two problems are both multi-step problems because they are using two or more operations. Which problem can be easily interpreted and solved? Very good! Problem A can be easily interpreted and solved. Which problem can be solved using different strategies? Very good! Correct answer! Which problem is the multi-step routine problem? Excellent! Problem A is an example of multi-step routine problem. Which problem is the multi-step non-routine problem? That's right! Problem B is an example of multi-step non-routine problem. Dear learners, what are multi-step problems? Multi-step problems can be solved using two or more operations. What is a multi-step routine problem? 
a multi-step routine problem can be easily interpreted and solved. What is a multi-step non-routine problem? A multi-step non-routine problem can be solved using different strategies. It develops reasoning. It also needs a deep and clear analysis and understanding. Young learners, did you understand our lesson today? Wow, very good! It's nice to hear that! Dear learners, always remember that in the world of mathematics, there is fun and excitement. This is Teacher Teens.